Hello, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. How is everyone on today? I wanted to bring you a story. There's a couple of videos that I do have, but I wanted to bring you a story about this 18 year old high school senior. She's a female and she is a student at Martin Luther King High School in Riverside, California. Now, there is been there has been a lot of controversy about um biologically born males using female restrooms now before i get into this story i want to go ahead and give my copyright disclaimer under section 107 of the copyright act 1976 allowances made for fair use for purposes such as criticism comment news reporting scholarship and research fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing nonprofit education uh, educational or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use now um i wanted to tell this story share this story because this female actually is 18 years of age and she actually spoke out about uh, at the Riverside University School District, she actually spoke out about this. Of an eight, uh, she's 18 years of age, and uh, this particular biological male student came into the female's locker room, and there were females in there, in the shower, and he came in and told them that he was a transgender uh, male, and he decided to go ahead and get undressed and get in the shower with the females so she spoke out and stated that um she you know that what where is the protections for uh females where is the protection for females knowing that this is a biologically born male student knowing he's biologically male and wanting to to use or invade the spaces of biologically born females now this is no hate against any uh people or population or the lgbtq plus that states that you know they identify as someone other than what they were biologically born and so i believe that it is time that people uh young people start to speak up in the school districts um regarding the information you know regarding what's going on we as adults if we're heterosexual and we believe in uh male and female there's only two genders we believe in that and we have a right to uh you know use our um first amendment you know freedom of speech constitutional rights we have that right to do so without being attacked or you know our video being shut down or our platform being shut down or you know or being accused of uh, hate speech and things like that we just have that right just like they do and so uh that when they speak and promote their things and so um I, I i i i support this young lady she's 18 years old she's a senior and she spoke out now i was going to show you let let you listen to the video uh of this but for some reason i believe that they took it down um because it says female oh here it just came back up but i was having trouble bringing it up but right here i wanted to read this story to you and then share with you uh, under the copyright disclaimer and the fair use so it says female high school student scorches school district for allowing biological male student to use girls bathroom california high school senior megan simpkins slammed her school in a passionate speech it was passionate it wasn't hateful for allowing a biologically male student to use the women's locker room alluding to a physical altercation martin luther king high school in riverside california made headlines after a viral video showed a transgender student assaulting a female student on campus P 
parents reportedly told Fox 11 the transgender student has a history of erratic and uncomfortable behavior and had access to the girls' bathrooms and locker rooms. Riverside Police also claim this is not the first time this transgender student has been involved in an altercation. Many voiced their outrage that such a sequence of events was allowed to happen in the first place at a recent school board meeting. The 18-year-old high school student spoke at Riverside Unified School District, which is RUSD, board member, where she warned about the issue of biological men claiming they are women and in, and, and, uh, you know, um, and, you know, using female spaces. Now, the article is going really slow, so I can't get all of this right now. Hopefully, it'll come up. But I know where this high school is at. It's a huge, huge high school. Beautiful. Has a big old, like, art uh, auditorium. Um, you know, the whole shebang. And uh, where it's located at, there are million-dollar homes over in that area. Right now, they're being built unless they're finished because last summer, uh, they were building homes over there, and the going price was like a million dollars. And there are expensive homes over in that area, but there's also kind of like a rural area too. Like because, you know, in, in Riverside, California, and, and a lot of the Inland Empire, there were a lot of orange groves, if you know the history. And so over in that area, a lot of farmland or horses, or, you know, were orange groves. So they have built uh, some decent communities over there. And uh, just like I said recently last year, I noticed that they were building some homes. And when I looked at the prices, they were going for like up to like a million dollar homes over in that area. But this high school is a really, really huge high school. It's a diverse high school. It's a really nice high school. But there's a lot of controversy that happens uh, in this high school. There's been a lot of situations and, and big, uh, you know, uh, altercations. You know, and this is nothing against Riverside Unified School District. It's not to uh, slam them in any kind of way. I would never do that, uh, you know. But uh, the truth may be known because there is public record that things have happened at that school. So I was trying to get the, F the rest of the information up here. But let me try to pull it back up because I wanted you all to hear what this young woman had said. So let me see if I can get the video up so I can share with you um, because it's going slow for some reason and but I wanted to share with you all you know what was actually said so let's see if it'll come back up give me a moment thank you for your patience and see if this will uh, come back up it did come up as I was uh, reading the article to you thank God I was able to give you an overview of what was what has actually happened here and so uh, basically, like I said, is this young woman, 18 years of age, and although she is still a, uh, you know, student, um, she's 18 years of age, and uh, some people graduate at 18 uh, if their birthday is late, and so therefore she is still a student. But let's take a listen to this one minute and 29 second clip. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and only ladies and gentlemen it is and shall always be. I am an 18-year-old high school student and wanted to take this time to bring to your attention the current issue with biological men claiming they are women and in turn truly believing that they are entitled to use women's spaces. There was an incident within our district that occurred recently regarding a transgender woman who really is a bio biological man having an altercation with a young woman at MLK High School. It was infuriating when I had seen the video on social media, but what was detrimental to this is the fact that this man is and has been using the women's restroom and locker room. Firstly, the question we must address is why are we affirming the mental confusion of this boy and putting the safety of women in jeopardy by allowing mentally confused men to use the women's spaces? Of course, any male who claims he is a woman will accept it, but what about the women? What about the true girls like myself who are female down to our DNA? Why don't we ever get a say in whether or not we are comfortable with this? The truth is we aren't. The majority of us aren't, and yet nothing has been done to protect the safety of these women. I will conclude with this. It all starts with you. You are in charge of the safety of us women and our and the parent and the kids of our parents. So please do something about it. Thank you. Now, did you hear that? And so this is what it has come down to. And I'm glad that students are actually speaking out about this because um, 
this has gone too far and and because we as biological females uh and biological males have a right to speak out and use our voice and so i am glad that she was given that opportunity in a passionate but strong uh boldly uh affirmation and so um the uh it went like i said this went viral on social media but i didn't i just received this article uh yesterday and i wanted to come on and share this and i, I really want to know what you all think about this and, and let's get the conversation start started again in the comments below just leave your respectful comments uh you know about this and and you know because this is not right and anyone and it's true anyone and i have spoken out about this before about even in uh transgender males excuse me females claiming to be females that are biologically born males are participating and taking over biologically born female sports and this is not right we have a right too and i had shared with my mother that if uh president biden comes to the inland empire i want to be able to have a conversation with him about this because we have rights as well and we can't continue to pass laws that are unequal that there's they're not equitable laws they need to be equal and to continue to pass laws to protect people that were not born who they say they are and portraying to be uh versus people that were born who they really are and uh we are not getting the protection you know and our voice is heard and taken serious and the protection that we need and i salute this young lady uh i don't know who she is but i salute her 100 percent i stand behind her and all biological females because this is not right and anyone can say oh this is who i am and even in these sports and i'm an athlete and i play sports i was an athlete in high school and i still work out you know and things like that and i just cannot imagine you know dealing with something like this when i was coming up and i have like i said several brothers and 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 still participating in sports and uh they stand with me they believe that it should be kept separate they should have their own you know uh their own league or whatever you call it i can't think of the word at this moment but they should have their own uh you know where they enter in and they can compete against one another i don't believe it's people uh don't want them to compete it's just that it has to be fair competition and actually using a female's restroom is very wrong uh and then to go in there and just say oh you know i'm transgender and take off your clothes in front of other females some people are just playing games and just like she said mentally confused and why would you put that mentally mental excuse me mental confusion on other people people have a right to their privacy they have a right to not be subjected to trauma and confusion and chaos such as this people need to be protected and not just transgender the lgbtq but also the heterosexual biologically born male and female need to be protected as well so now that this article has come back up let me get back to reading uh let me get back to reading the rest of this and it's talked about you know that there was an incident and i believe you heard it all <laughs> an intermit i mean an incident and it says it was infuriating when i had seen the video like she said but what was detrimental to this is the fact that this man is and has been using a women's restroom and locker room the other thing is um uh, there uh simpson also took aim at the ideology behind the trans movement and she talked about that first the question we must address is why are we affirming the mental confusion of this boy and putting the safety of women in jeopardy by allowing mentally confused men to use women's spaces that's one of the things that she actually uh took aim at but it's a good aim because we have to ask the question and grown folks need to ask the question i mean need to answer the question you know this shouldn't just keep going on because we just want to go with the go along get along and jump on bandwagons population uh you know and this is wrong you know um it's very wrong and so uh biologically females and males heterosexual rights matter also and um they matter and i think it's important that students start to speak out and use their voices in in their spaces in in high school and in their spaces because they're the ones really being subjected to this uh and we see it so much more 
in the high schools, in elementary schools. This is what they're facing day in and day out when they attend school. So, uh, and so they have to not assume and, and become assumption makers in thinking that everybody is okay with this and that there are gonna be people, students as well as adults that are gonna just zip their lip, excuse me, and remain silent. This is something that we cannot continue um, to remain silent on. Now, of course, uh, the RUSD released a public statement in late April noting that a video depicting an altercation involving students at Martin Luther King High School has been widely circulated on social media this week and declaring this matter has the full attention of the RUSD administration is being addressed expeditiously. Um, it says the unnamed transgender student was reportedly expelled from the school. And since the incident occurred, district staff has been working to ensure the safety and rights of all students are considered and promptly responded to the statements uh, stated. We are able to verify that the student involved will no longer be attending King High School. Now, again, that's under the fair use, uh, you know, which is permitted by copyright statute might otherwise be infringing nonprofit. So this is for educational, um, you know, purposes and also for um you know comment and so you know we look at this you know news reporting because it is public information it went viral on social media it's public information and so um you know and i felt compelled to speak about it because when it comes down to injustice you know we have to continue to speak out uh and fight against injustice and this is an injustice to all biological females all biological females no matter your age it is an injustice and also um you know i look at seeing you know people want to live the way they want to and that's their business but their actions and behaviors and their lifestyle their sinning lifestyle should not infringe on the rights of other people that have separate views and there's a lot of house households that believe in uh the bible believe in the traditional uh, uh, by, uh, traditional family values and also they believe in the biblical concepts and so as uh, so we have a right to speak out as well and, and not keep our mouth mouth zipped you know our lips zipped when there is an uncomfortable or uh, un, uh, unjust going on we have a right to speak out and our our words should not be taken out of context our words should not be taken to a level of oh they're hating they're a homophobic no we're not we're just speaking out and we're exercising our first amendment rights our freedom of speech our freedom of expression we're exercising our right to live and not be harmed we're exercising our constitutional rights to not be infringed upon and invading our spaces and privacy we're asking that our constitutional rights um be protected and uh you know be protected and we as biological uh, heterosexual females have a right to be protected in society and no laws should continue to be passed uh, to uh, for one sided. There should not be an unequal balance of the scales. And I speak on this and because it's, uh, you know, we have to protect ourselves as well. And when the protection is slowly dissipating and, de and, and decreasing instead of where it should be, on an equal level playing field and living field. You know what I'm saying? Uh, humanity, you know, a field of humanity, you know, um, and then we definitely need to speak out, uh, you know, so that we, uh, you know, speak out and, and let them know that we care. Let them know that this matters to us because if we don't speak out, then it gets pushed under the rug and laws are passed and then we are slowly just, uh, uh, a silent voice that's not, heard, that's not heard. And so we have to continue to speak up to be heard. And I am so thankful and, and glad that young people are now speaking up about this. They deserve to be heard as well. Um, and so, you know, uh, because like I said, there's been a lot of talk and controversy and, and about the protection of, you know, the LGBTQ plus and transgender rights, but what about the rights of 
uh, you know, others? What about the rights of others and the, you know, of heterosexual, biologically born females and males? Um, what about that? And so with that being said, you all leave your comments below. Let's get the conversation started. What do you think and, and how do you feel? And do you have children that are in the school districts or, you know, in the school system, excuse me, uh, and uh, what do you think about this and how, if you have children, minor children or, um, grandchildren, or if you, you know, you have adopted children or you a guardian, you know, what do you, uh, what is your thoughts on this? And, um, have you experienced any of this uh, as far as, I mean, has your grandchildren or children experienced any of this or adopted children if you're the legal guardian or foster parents? And what are your thoughts on this? And are you involved to make sure that um, the children are being protected um, if you fall in the category of this female, how she spoke so adequate and passionate? And the other thing we have to look at is mental health because there is a lot of that going on and you know that this is uh may is the mental health awareness month and we have to look at that as well and she made a good point about this bi biologically male being confused and the fact that he wants to put his confusion and share it up on others and you know that old saying misery loves company and that can be you know, used in a new, um, in a numerous amount of ways. And uh, I'm not saying that this person is miserable, but I'm just saying that, uh, we have to protect our interests and who we are, um, and what we stand for as well. And so with that being said, you all, please do again, leave your comments below. Let me know what you think about this. And again, it is not hate speech. Um, it is not to promote hate or anything like that. It is to just share information to bring up our level of awareness and people need to be uh, respectful. And when it comes down to these districts, students shouldn't have to go to school and worry about things like this and their safety. They should be at school to learn so that they can be the best that they can be as a citizen in society moving forward and, uh, and contributing, uh, you know, citizen of society in a positive way. And adults need to be the children's best ally and with all of this confusion going on in the school districts how can uh, adults be the best ally for children when they're not measuring up when they're falling short and you have children that are speaking up and behaving so a lot of them are uh, more responsible when it comes down to certain things more responsible than the adults themselves. And you have teachers that are educators and administrators with doctorates, you know, with masters and PhDs, you know, and this is what our school system is dealing with. And sometimes you have to wonder, you know, are these people, are we dealing with educated fools? Let's just be tr truthful about it. There are people that contribute to society in a positive manner. They may not have secondary educations or really high you know, like a PhD or master's, there is associate degrees, there is, you know, bachelor's, you know, undergrad studies, but you have people with PhDs acting like they're confused and acting like they don't know any better. Let's just call it what it is. And, and they have to be held accountable for their lack of, you know, um, cognitive skills and critical thinking and crucial conversations and how to address these issues. This needs to be addressed. I thank God that I don't have small children in the school system, but you know, when it comes down to grandchildren, uh, I'm concerned about this, truly, truly concerned about this. And I, uh, I will support, uh, you know, uh, what is right. I will support, you know, what needs to be supported. Um, I'm not about violence. You know, uh, I'm not about, you know, hate in any of that, but I will stand up and exercise my freedom of speech under my constitutional rights. And I encourage everyone to do so in a non-threatening, uh, non-hateful manner, speaking fluently, speaking articulate, 
and being passionate about what you stand for, who you are as a person, and what your beliefs are, standing firm on that, and don't allow anyone to change that or uh, allow you to waver in that, but be stable in all your ways. So with that being said, you all, God bless you all on today. Uh, like again, please leave your comments below. Let me know what you think about this. Please, let's get the responsible, uh, smart conversation started. Leave your comments below because I would certainly like to hear what your views and take is on this. And I will be back with you with another video. And this is a 12-year-old speaking out. Okay, God bless you all.